The IDF has said that one of its main objectives in this current operation is to take out senior Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad figures in Gaza, with Mohammed Daif, a name you may have heard before, at the top of the list. But who is Mohammed Daif and why is Israel targeting him? Hanna Rifkin with the report. The IDF has tried and failed to kill Mohammed Daif, the commander of Hamas's military wing, the Izzedin al Qassam Brigades, not once, but twice since the beginning of Operation Guardian of the Walls, the IDF confirmed this week. While it did not release the details of the operations, the military said Deef was able to get away at the last minute both times. Considered by the Israeli military to be a skilled commander, Deef is the mastermind behind numerous terrorist attacks which have killed Israeli citizens. He has been on Israel's most wanted list for the past 25 years. Israeli security services have tried to kill Deef multiple times over the years. The first attempt took place in 2001 and another in 2002, which left him partially blind. A third attempt was made in 2003, and an attempt in 2006 left him seriously injured, losing both of his legs and an arm. In the 2014 Gaza War, Israel made another attempt, initially believing Deef had been killed. He managed to survive that attack as well, however, though his wife and children did not. Earlier this week, the head of the IDF Southern Command, Eliezer Toledano, told Israel's Channel 12 News that Mohammed Deef, along with Yaha Sinwar, Hamas's Gaza leader, remained in Israel's sights. Whether or not Israel is able to finally and successfully target Mohammed Deef until the ceasefire is reached remains to be seen, though no doubt he will continue to be on Israel's radar.